previously on Resident Evil Revelations. We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. The signal was lost over the ocean. Queen's and all here. Right here on this ship. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. I think it's a gun. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? Chris! What is this? Oh, great. Shit! <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> it's time you learned the truth. Miss Valentine. Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I hope you'll forgive the slightly awkward editing I had to do there in order to make that the very beginning of this episode. Episode 2! Double Mystery. We're actually in Episode 4. Shows that they know. Sorry, I just needed to insert that to, uh... Make it easier on me when I come to editing. What? Why are we in the mountains in Europe now? Slow down, Chris. We're almost there, Jessica. Wait. I certainly <laughs> hope so. My feet are killing me. Our source indicates the camp is on the far side of this peak. Maybe it's the weather, but I still can't make contact with HQ. Who'd have thought we'd be stuck out here for so long? Okay, now I'm Chris Redfield. And I have a shotgun. Okay. But it did say 640, I saw that. <clears throat> so this is happening while Jill is on the uh, Queen Zenobia. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm gonna take a lozenge. Tom to Tom, wasting time. What is that on his back there? A first aid kit? Go for it! Sure thing, lozenge wrapper. Looking around, wasn't really expecting to see much. Oh, the plane! My god, it crashed! There shouldn't be any shipping routes in this area. And the intel we got on Veltro was on the money. Come on. Why were you expecting a plane then? Make it easier to run. I've just noticed there is still a pistol in the holster on his leg. Fine, I'll use this one. It's less immersion breaking. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. That was me taking serene shots. Investigate the site. Let me know if you find anything. So why did the tracking things indicate they were in the ocean. I have a scanner too. And it still carries a 38% of uh, Jills. On handling the new prototype. There will be a new prototype introduced in this mission. All mission participants are urged to use extreme caution. 1. When handling the special prototype, all instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. Two, in the event of an emergency, follow the contingency guidelines in the Hazards and Emergencies Manual. Three, once the prototype's abilities have activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedative must be administered every hour during transport. Four, while it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. Oops.
When con and control is no longer viable, please contact HQ in the dedicated line. So they've got a monster with a true form that makes it totally uncontrollable. And here's a cage with its doors blown wide open. Whatever did this, it wasn't human. What the hell were they carrying? Whatever the BSAA are paying you guys, it isn't enough. Let's not stand there in case it revs back up and I turn into hamburger. Out of your league. I'm trying to remember the name of the actor. Uh, I recognize uh, Chris Redfield's voice here. Just looking through my old my old notes. I keep most of them out of nostalgia. He was the guy who voiced. Oh yeah, here it is. I actually found the right one. Uh, it was the guy who voiced Batman in Batman Arkham Origins. Roger Craig Smith. That's his name. Also known, no, also known, also known for providing the voice of Ezio Auditore from the uh, Assassin's Creed franchise, and for voicing uh, a lot of uh, modern versions of Sonic the Hedgehog of all characters. They do seem to be pretty good at not throwing items out in the middle of nowhere. And he's at 70 max ammo! What are they going to be throwing me up against? I could probably break this with my weapon. Okay, just right trigger uses the knife. I'll have to try that next time I, I uh, take control of Jill. Assuming that ever happens again and that wasn't just a prologue. We should check out the plane more thoroughly, see what we find. I can't move. No, seriously. I'm stuck. Okay, I hit B. I guess. Or maybe I just had to wait. All that time. Oh, right. Well, at least he's just dead. He might have been Veltro. I'd better use the Genesis. Speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog. Achievement unlocked. First victim. Scan one hidden handprint. Wonder why I did that. Picked up flight plan. The manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. They were headed for Falcon and Mock Airport. If that's where they are, this mine should take us there. All the controls have been shorted out. Yeah, that guy got fucked up. I'm impressed he's not impaled on that tree. It won't work without a key. It's marked with a biohazard symbol. Found some faint traces of a virus here. 
Chris, do you really think we're dealing with Delco again? Hard to say. I find it difficult to believe they survived Terra Grigia, though. So... It didn't even reset because I scanned something different. Well, that's actually kind of really disappointing to me. Uh, it doesn't matter what you scan, it just goes up every time you scan something. And, uh... Every time it reaches 100%, you get another healing item. Lame. It just goes up by less when you scan things you have already scanned a lot of, I guess. Noted. Hmm. Well, the key should be, it should have been in the plane, right? Yeah. All right, fine. You make contact with HQ yet? No luck. Too much interference still. I don't know Jessica either, for the record. I also don't know very much about uh Chris because my friend who I uh, vicariously lived the Jessica, first I need a hand. the first three games Come through. On. Uh only owned Resident Evil 2 and 3. He owned, just rented Resident Evil 1 a few times. <sighs> this cave is too cold. You should have worn your thermal underwear. And now we know that Chris Redfield is wearing long johns. Great. Yes, I did. I was trying to think of a funny response to that. There's nothing funny about monster roaring. Oh, Jesus. No kidding! that way, doesn't it? Then Veltro is back from the dead. Yeah. We have to stop them before anyone gets hurt. Honestly, I was expecting something a lot worse. I mean, these aren't the same monster dogs, but I've dealt with monster dogs. How's that sniper rifle treating you? Oh god! Wait. Hey guys. Thanks for waiting. I'm going to guess that somehow this story and the other story are going to be tied in together. As something aside from the fact that we're clearly facing the same antagonists, I mean. A 
80. 80 is his maximum number of uh, handgun bullets. Oh, it's right there. Fair enough. Let's just piss them off and then try to scan. Whoa. Oh, I think I shot him with that one right in the brain. Christ, you can see right through them! What happened to their organs? Oh, that's official. Goddamn zombies. What? B.O.W. decoy, a grenade-type subweapon. Once it hits the ground, it lets out a unique sound that lures in surrounding enemies and then explodes, taking out everything in the vicinity. Very effective, if used correctly. This doesn't look like an arena. So we totally safe. It's not a selection. And there's more behind you. Oh, hey, I'm dying. Tell you what. Oh, Jesus. I got that one already. I need to stop doing that and use that. It is kind of cool, scanning invisible items. Wow, look how much smaller that one is. That's about the size I remember. That other one is arguably a houseplant. Oh yeah, that was a thing. You totally couldn't move at all while you were aiming in the uh, in Resident Evil 4. I think. Maybe you could strafe. I seem to remember reading that RE5 is a. Jill, was it? Was what? Stay focused. She was your partner before, right? Yeah, my partner from before. What about it? I was, you know, just asking. Are you getting passive aggressive on me? Are these two sleeping together? Is that what that is? I didn't think there was romance in Resident Evil. I can still see some red down in the lower right corner, so everything is great. When you take a moment for a jazz cigarette. Shit. My leg. Oh, I did fuck up my leg. It's just my leg. I'm not going anywhere for a while. Can't switch to my, uh... Hold on, I'll be right there. No, fuck off! I can't 
scan right now. No, 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 no! Sorry, I didn't plan this. Not, long, not for long. Sure it is. I'm drowning in bullets. No, 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 no! Oh, thank you. Last thing you need is to empty the clip and they're looking straight at you. the dialogue for that. Bullets. Yeah, maybe I am gonna run out of ammo. Oh no. Click. Oh. Quiet you. How old this, you motherfucker? Uh oh. Oh god, I've become that guy from SpongeBob who always yells about his goddamn leg. Can you stand? Thanks. I'll be okay. Sorry to bring this up again, but bring what up? Do you trust me as much as Jill? There's no need to compare. I trust you both. Besides, trust is built through actions, not words. That's so like you, Chris. It's always about the job, isn't it? Well, that sucked. I don't know how frequently the game auto saves. That could be a problem. That could be a real problem. Oh, Christ. Uh... But we'll just have to see. For that has been 20 minutes, and hopefully I won't have to do all of that over again, this entire video, uh, before I can start recording again. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. When Chris and Jessica, who really aren't dressed that well for an Arctic mission, continue exploring these mountains for whatever it is their intel leads them to believe is here. Makes me wonder exactly how many goddamn wolf monsters that plane had on board. Later! Oh, what the hell? Let's just find out. Previously on Resident uh, Evil Revelations. That sucks. That really, really sucks. It looks like it really does only autosave. Oh. Okay, it could be worse. Oh, does it just always do the previously on video? That's kind of funny. Well, I guess in that case, uh. I'll see you next time after I fight off scores of wolves again. Later!